What's up, YouTube? Our props are us. Back at you with another video. I just want to do a quick little video of uh, my newest pickup. It's the 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre Pretty Woman mask. I paid. It was $59.99 plus shipping and tax. It came out to like $64, so $65. And um. I'll be honest, I don't really buy a lot of masks from Trick or Treat Studios. I'm just not into their quality and just the whole company as is. I'm not really big on it. I mean, I know I got a few things from there, like my Myers mask and my, of course that good guy doll, but I was looking for another face mask and I said to hell with it. I took a chance and I'm kind of happy that I did because it is a lot better looking than I thought it would be. As you can see from uh, this video, the detail on it is pretty good. Of course, it's a latex mask. The, the paint on this thing looks really, really good. And that's always been a problem with Trick or Treat Studio masks is like the paint and the details and the mask don't look as good or as screen accurate as it should. But this one, I'm kind of blown away by it for the price. It's really, really good, and I'm really, really impressed with it. You see it has the brown wig, and it has some gray in it, which I like. They threw that in. Got the little stitching on top. The, see, I guess, as you can see, the paint's really good on it. I like the detail. They, they really did a good job on this mask. I don't know if they're all like that, but this one is really, really good. The stitching. You see the ear. Of course, the little makeup on the side of the cheek, the lipstick, the eyeshadow, the little one eyebrow, it's got like, it's some kind of, I don't know what the hell it's made out of, but it feels like hair, like an eyebrow, it's pretty cool, I like it. And you got down here where it splits, you got the little shoelaces. Uh, let me roll the turn around, it's nothing really special, it's just a wig, but like I said, they did a really good job on it. I'm really impressed. I was like kind of worried because I've bought stuff before from Trick or Treat Studios that I, really, that I really wasn't happy with, but this mask, I can say I am, and I'm happy to add it to my collection. So if any of y'all are out there thinking about buying this, I just want to make this quick little video so I can get a look at it. And uh, I would, I would highly recommend getting it. For the price, it's not it's not bad. 60 bucks plus tax and shipping is really not bad for a good mask nowadays, so. And if you're a fan of Texas Chainsaw Massacre like I am, the original, the 1974 one, then I would say go out and grab this. I, I think they're back ordered right now though, but as soon as they come back for sale, grab it, because I'm pretty sure they'll sell fast. Most, most of their good masks do, but uh, yeah, I just want to make this quick little video for y'all. I know it's been a while since I made one since my last one. It was like a month ago for my uh, good guy. If you ain't seen it, check it out. But uh, yeah, that is it. That is my pretty woman mask. Look at the side. Yeah, I like this. this looks really good. I'm like really impressed. Really, really impressed. And I might just have to like buy more, more masks from them. I'm not really a big mask collector, but like I said, I saw this one, I jumped on it because there's no way I'm going to get a life size of this guy. It's just too hard to find and too hard to build one. So I decided to just get the mask and uh, display it next to my movie poster. But uh, yeah, that is it. This may tempt me to finally buy the Annabelle doll. Annabelle, I'm sorry. Annabelle doll. I'm, I've been on the edge about trying to get it should i should i not and this might really get me to do it because I'm, I'm really impressed with this one so maybe they did a good job on the doll too so i might have to just scoop that up but so you might want to keep a lookout for that but uh yeah guys that's it if you have any questions feel free to ask put in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer them i'm always here for you guys you got any questions about anything that i have i try to get to every one of y'all and and answer all the questions I can I'm sorry I can't get to all of y'all but I try my best so just ask whatever even if it's about past videos or whatever and I'll be happy to answer them but that is it guys once again I appreciate all y'all thanks for the support thanks for staying by my side 
my channel continues to grow and it's all because of y'all and i'm gonna try my hardest to continue to throw out fresh content for you guys so uh just hit that subscribe button if you ain't subscribed yet and if you are once again i love you hit that bell so you can get alerted when i have new videos coming out and um yeah appreciate the love guys